bottle insulators, huh? That'll keep the beer cold on a hot day. Hey there, beer nerds, and welcome to Beer Tech Tested. This is going to be a new set of videos here on Beer by the Numbers, where I put different beer gadgets from the crazy online world of beer gadgets to the test right here in my home. For this first episode, I'm really excited to be bringing you the uh, AE's Bottle Insulator 2-Pack straight off of Amazon. Now, before I dive into this product review and the test we're going to do, I want to be perfectly clear that I did get this product to review for free. However, I'm not being paid to review this product. This video is not being sponsored, but uh, I did get the product for free. So all the opinions you're going to see here today are my own. Uh, but let's dive into it, unbox this thing, and then we're going to give some first impressions, kind of give a little how to use, uh, and then I'm going to actually put this product to the test um, before giving some final thoughts. So let's dive into Beer Tech Tested today. All right, so let's get this thing open. All right, first thing is, all right, so it comes out really easy. Uh, we got a two pack of these same bottle insulators right here. Um, so first thing you notice right on top is that each one of these things comes with a handy bottle opener right on the top. Now, if you're not such an obsessive beer nerd like me who literally carries around one of these on his keychain everywhere he goes, um, this is really useful, especially when you're carrying around a glass bottle of beer. Uh, you know, right away off the bat, I noticed that this has a lovely stainless steel finish on it. It looks really cool. It looks really classy. What I really like about it is that it looks like any stainless steel water bottle you'd already have around your home today. In fact, I pulled this one right out of uh, my cupboard here at home just to kind of show you that, yeah, you know, this this might be a little bit of a stealthy way to carry some beer around because it looks just like a water bottle you'd see anybody carry around. Um, so I, I really like the, the stainless steel finish on it. All the seals feel really high quality. Um, they're, they're good. Uh, it's a little bit hefty, so you know it's got some good insulative properties. And then all the seals on it are really great. Um, inside the bottle, and I know it's going to be a little bit tough to see here because the insulation is black, but it's got a lovely bit of just foam insulation in there. Kind of like what you'd find on a can koozie, but it feels a little bit denser. Probably has a little bit uh, more insulative properties. Um, so it's it's a really nice kind of design. Uh, everything in here feels solid. Um, all the finishes are very nice. So overall, uh, pulling it out of the box, I'm impressed. And of course, you know, even more impressed that for your dollar, you get a whole second one too. So that is a really big deal. Oh dear. So once you have this thing open and you have all your parts disassembled, it could be easier to get a bottle inside this thing. All you do, you take a beer bottle, you put it right in the uh, in the base. On top of that, you go ahead and attach the body and then screw the base into the body. Uh, notice that the uh, bottle sticks nicely out the top, so you have a little bit of room to uh, take a swig or two from your nice bottle insulator without having to uh, take apart the whole thing again. Then you just screw the cap on, and bam, you got yourself a well-insulated bottle right here. Uh, now you can protect it from the heat. Uh, hot weather, I think, is the, the biggest use here. I mean, you know, we all have, have can koozies out there. We know those insulate uh, your beer very nicely from warm weather when you're drinking outside. But, uh, you know, there's not always a great solution when it comes to bottle beers. Um, and I think another big thing that I'm going to be using this product for is for places that don't often allow glass bottles. Uh, I personally do a lot of tailgating in the fall when it comes to college football season and most of the tailgate lots for obvious reason don't want you bringing in a ton of glass bottles so they get a bunch of broken glass everywhere. Well, this I think is going to allow me to pretty passively use uh, my home brewed glass bottles. Um, instead of having to bring only a lot of canned beer or have to pour out every one of my beers into a cup before I drink it, uh, which can lead it to getting very warm very quickly. So um, I think this is going to be great is for football tailgates especially. And then I think the third kind of use you can use this for is because it looks so much like this water bottle here. Um, if you're in a spot where people aren't so keen on you cracking open a brew, uh, you could definitely bring one of these and people probably wouldn't bat an eye uh, seeing you take sips out of this stainless steel bottle that looks a heck of a lot like a water bottle. Um, so yeah, I, overall I think the first impressions of the product are pretty good. 
uh, but I really want to put it to the test to see just how good this bottle is at insulating your beer against the elements. So let me go grab a couple of beers and let's dive into it. All right, I'm back with a couple of fresh bottles of beer straight from my fridge and my handy dandy infrared thermometer so that we can take some surface temperature readings on these beers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two home brews, we're gonna leave this one out in the elements to be exposed to this rather warm, humid, and windy Minnesota summer day. And we're gonna take this one and go ahead and seal it in the bottle insulator. Leave them both out for an hour and see how much each one changes in temperature. That way we're gonna know how good this bottle insulator here is at protecting your beer against the elements. And beer is so precious, so I really, really want this to work. But before we do that, I gotta take some baseline readings here. So let's get into that. Uh, so each of these bottles is showing a surface temperature of about 52 degrees Fahrenheit, 51 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna seal this one up and then we're gonna see after an hour how well this does. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the results here because I just wanna, I would love to think that this um, bottle insulator is gonna really hold the, hold the coolness on this beer. So there we go. And then I will check back in with you beer nerds in about an hour to see how we do. God, I love science. Okay, I'm back and it's been about an hour and I'm excited to kind of dig into uh, what we got here. So um, let me start by checking the temperature on our control bottle that was just left out here and totally exposed to the elements. And it uh, looks like it's already reading a surface temperature of about 70 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Um, and I'm sure if I pop this thing open, let me use one of these handy bottle openers that came on the bottle here. This is one of my old home brews, a nice peach ginger um, ale, golden ale. Mm, it looks pretty good today. But I'm sure if I give this a taste in just a moment, oh, no, it's going to be fairly warm. But it, uh, it certainly smells good right off the bat. Uh, now let's check the bottle we had insulated the entire time. And uh, I'm just going to pop it open here, take the insulator off. Now both these vessels had a lot of kind of bottle sweat on them, but uh, this one is clocking in at uh, 62. So kept about eight degrees Fahrenheit cooler uh, than our bottle uh, that was just left out to the elements, which is actually a pretty significant difference overall. Uh, this one gained only about 10 degrees Fahrenheit while the other one gained 20. Um, and this is a lovely Scotch ale that was sent to me uh, by one of my neighbors who homebrews. So we're gonna give this one a shot and we'll uh we'll figure out whoo you got some carbonation on this one well we'll give that a moment to settle um while i go ahead and try this other one first um you know it still tastes pretty good but it definitely tastes like warm beer you know um you know definitely did not stay very cool sitting out here for about an hour on a nice humid day um not bad, but uh, you know, that's that's our control group. Um, and now I'm gonna try this one that uh, is a few degrees cooler on the outside, probably a little more on the inside. And yeah, it definitely has warmed up some, uh, but it's still very cold. And as far as uh, sitting out alone for an hour, I don't know about you, but I can definitely drink uh, more than one beer in an hour. So overall, I think our test went fairly well and these insulators work uh, really nicely um and looking at it on the inside it looks looks like it held up very well so uh as far as does it work or not yeah absolutely this these insulators are great they work really well at keeping beer cooler than they otherwise would be just out in the open so cheers to that so i guess it's time to give some final impressions about all this stuff and um oh before i do that i want to show one more thing um, is that these are actually fairly easy 
to drink out of too. So like I said, you can basically use them as bottle uh, koozies. So if I go ahead and put this homebrew right back into here, I can just take a swig right out the top, it sits up nicely right here in the top. For me to get just a little beer, totally looks like I'm drinking water or something else. Not obvious that it's beer. And uh, keeps the beer cool while you drink, which is always a plus. Keeps the hand heat away from it. So there we go. Um, so some final thoughts on these. Um, overall, I think they're a pretty good product. Um, the one complaint I did find while testing some of these things was that certain bottle sizes didn't really fit. Um, if you're not using anything other than a, than a standard beer bottle, if the neck is slightly too long, um, if they're wider than your standard 12 ounce bottle size, you're not going to be able to fit them inside this insulator. So for most brands of beer, it's going to be perfectly fine to use. Um, but for some, you might have it a half inch too long, such as you can't screw on the nice insulated cap anymore. Uh, so as far as versatility, this product isn't the most versatile, but for the price point, the fact that the two come in a box, uh, the nice quality of the stainless steel, the openers on the top, I think overall I'd recommend giving this a shot, especially if you're in any sort of area where you would commonly have to avoid using glass beer bottles. Um, I know I'm gonna be taking these with me tailgating uh, this fall. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video on that too, but uh, these really work work for me, they work well, and most importantly, tested it and verified it here today. They keep your beer cool, which is just absolutely the most important part. So uh, this has been Ryan with Beer Tech Tested. I hope y'all have a great time, and I'll see you next time with some more great beer tech. Cheers.